so now we'll continue with the next part that is the agencies so of course to complete any project uh, there, there are different agencies we are there are different agencies for different agencies we have to allocate different uh, tasks okay so suppose uh, as we are in senior just we will consider the example of construction of any uh, suppose just if you consider construction of a apartment then in that case we are required architecture of course we are required owner or the financer who is going to finance the total project we are required the consultant we are required contractor subcontractor supplier vendor and lawyer okay so these are the different agencies which are required while constructing any project so what are the tasks assigned to everyone so first one first of all architect owner should go to the architect so that i uh, the total total planning architect will do the total planning of a project that is he, he will do a uh, one side he will give the plan which is to be uh, sanctioned which is to be sanctioned by the uh, town planning officer okay so if you are getting sanction of that plan okay then we will go for the next phase that is the we will go for the go to the consultant okay of course the consultant may be the rcg consultant so rc consultant have to design the total total plan which is given by the architecture so that is to be designed by the consultant that means he will give the scheduling of a steel okay if you are going to consider rcg frame structure okay so he will give the uh, give the details required details of the reinforcement required for the total project okay so next part is the contractor contractor of course contractor will take plan from architect and design from the consultant next contractor will assign the uh, the just con the, the task of the contractor is to uh, assign sub subcontractor suppliers or vendors okay so just suppose the just we consider the rcc framework structure he will assign rcc framework structure to sub contractor he can sublet his contract to another that is called a sublet okay so uh, or again he is the contractor is required supplier mm -hmm. supplier of the steel supplier of the murum or supplier of the grit so these are the raw material which are required for the construction of any project okay so again suppliers are required next part is the vendor okay so vendors again uh, for the construction of the any uh, structure if you are required different uh, equipment at that time we are required different vendors which are providing that equipments okay so again contractor has to deal with subcontractor supplier as well as the vendor okay so he has to look for the material as well as the equipment next the last part there is a, again it is one of the important part that is a lawyer lawyer is required from start of the project up to the end of the project because uh, at the starting of project what is the task of a lawyer you just you have to check whether the given uh, plot or that 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 is in uh, with suppose there suppose just if i can say example of uh, one plot suppose that on and the plot just half of the plot is to be developed then half of, half is remain as it is that means uh, first of all lawyer has to do the splitting of the two plots okay the splitting of the two plot is to be done through the lawyer okay and next uh, after uh, completion of the total project the lawyer uh, from lawyer from lawyer you can get the uh, completion certificate the, the completion certificate and other things uh, uh, the lawyer can do this part okay so of course and no uh, before this part before construction again just lawyer from lawyer you can get the no objection certificate noc noc for the environment okay so all the things are uh, are if the at the time of execution if there happens any uh, the destruction activity such as if there is a collapse of the uh, sub uh, 
slab or anything or if if any incident or accident happens and and the site so that all the things should be carried out by the lawyer itself because before we are going to for any construction it is required that for all the uh, the who the all the workers should have their insurance and that insurance can be uh, taken taken followed by the lawyer itself okay so all that uh, legal issues will handle the lawyer okay so the so, the, so for a project all this agents 